My relationship with the Catholic Church, the Orthodox Church, is painful. I don't think a month goes by that I don't long to belong once again completely to the Orthodox Church. As far as doctrine goes, as far as ritual practice goes, I am much more at home in the Orthodox Church than I am in the Roman Church. <clears throat> and there are things that have changed in Catholic doctrine since the two churches split that I completely disagree with, which a century ago would have made me some sort of heretic that I could no longer be Catholic. The pain that I feel in not being able to be Orthodox because of the stand I've taken with marginalized people, in some ways, I found a companion for myself in this exile, in this woman whose icon I am holding in my hands right now, Maria Skobotsova, a Russian Orthodox nun who was killed by the Nazis <clears throat> in 1945 in Ravensbrück, a woman who uh, had been a communist herself before she left Russia, who was uh, divorced and remarried, who had children, who as a middle-aged woman became a nun provided she would not have to be locked up in a monastery because what she felt she needed to do with her life was work with the broken people in Paris where she lived as an exile. Uh, the people who were drug, drug addicts, the Russians who were not, not coping well with being expelled from their homeland, being uh, uprooted from things that were familiar. And her writings, which have come down to us uh, <clears throat> and are being published now in English, she challenges us to look beyond the trappings of orthodoxy, and she could easily have said the trappings of Christianity in general, to go to the core of what we believe, to be grateful that we have been stripped of those trappings. The Russians in Paris were grieving that they no longer had the cathedrals, they no longer had the state, the imperial state protecting them with their rights. Uh, the, the, the fact that they were no longer a majority, that they were a minority in exile. She said, you should rejoice in this, that it frees you from centuries of things that were not important. So this woman, Maria Skobotsova, if I were to look at icons, it really meant a lot to me. I would have to say that this icon is very precious to me. She hangs in my room by my bed. Uh, she's a woman that I pray to every day, a woman whose, uh, whose prayers I count on to somehow be faithful in a path that leads between two churches, each of which says it is the one and only. <laughs>